Let's look at simplifying a ratio of polynomials. For example, let's simplify this expression here. The first thing we can do is factor a 3 out of the numerator, which gives us 3 times x squared plus x minus 6, all divided by x squared plus 4x plus 3. And now we can factor both quadratic expressions in the numerator and denominator, which gives us 3 times x plus 3 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 3 times x plus 1. And then we can cancel these common factors of x plus 3, and we're assuming here, of course, that x does not equal negative 3, which leaves us with our answer of 3 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 1. All right, let's look at another example. Let's simplify this expression here. Again, we can begin by factoring out the common factor in the numerator, which is 4 here, which leaves us with 1 minus w squared, still divided by w squared plus w minus 2. And now we can factor both the numerator and denominator. The numerator here is the difference of two squares, and it factors into 1 minus w times 1 plus w. And the denominator will factor into w minus 1 times w plus 2. Now, although these factors are not exactly the same, they're the negatives of each other, aren't they? That is, w minus 1 is equal to negative 1 minus w. And to see this, we can distribute the negative or negative 1 through to both of these terms, which would give us negative 1 plus w, which is w minus 1. So let's use this fact here. That is, this is equal to 4 times 1 minus w times 1 plus w, and now divided by negative 1 minus w times w plus 2. And now we can cancel these common factors of 1 minus w, and we're assuming here, of course, w does not equal 1, which leaves us with our answer of negative 4 times 1 plus w divided by w plus 2. And this is how we simplify a ratio of polynomials. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.